Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how to use a uh, J option pan, like GUI, uh, show input dialog, and to record it into the string in. Anyways, just, this is what it does so far. It asks you hello. And it replies whatever you type in. So we could use this code to make a nice little application. Let's think what we could do. We could make a simple... Mm, let me think for a second. Well, I can't really think of anything to make, so we're just going to do something simple. So, right now, um, since it only does this, it's kind of boring. So, we'll enhance it a little bit. We'll just use only this code. We won't build it too deep. If you want, you could just type this code up, or you could check below for the source. <coughs> anyway, uh, let me just explain how everything works. We have to import the swing right here. Uh, we need this, and you should know why. Uh, I named my public class input. If you're gonna name your something else, change this. I mean, yeah, this. Anyways, uh, first it tells the string in records whatever is typed into the input dialog, and this is the text right here this is the title here and this is the icon here and in the second dialog it opens a new dialog in is the string hello is the title and this is the icon anyways let's continue so we can make it say this Basically, it's just a simple, you know, easy to do thing. Just ask what is your name. Just type a random name. Oh, my bad. I accidentally changed the title. Um, this actually goes here. If you create a new comma, it will go at the title like I just did. Good mistake. <coughs> um, just like normally you add a plus like if you're doing system.out.print you add a plus so now it should work it's simple you could develop up to it develop it to be further more I made a simple rock paper scissors game uh, my bad just find it here this and it just uses the swing GUI and uses the input dialog asks you rock, paper, or scissor you type either one it's pretty simple um, well if you have any idea of what you want to do with this code <coughs> go ahead and build it it's not difficult you could use if statements if in dot equals remember the ignore case it's helpful if in dot equals um, let's go John uh, we could if you type in the name John, it'll open up a new dialog. S whoops. Saying. It only works for John because of the if statement. So if it was uh, David, oh, what? 
if in let's do this. That's just weird. If in Oh, I see why it's not working. See the semicolon here? It really screws things over. Let's recompile it and run it. And now let's try with a different name. Okay. I'm sorry about the semicolon. I didn't notice it. Um, so, basically, I'm just proving that an if statement also works with it. A while statement will work with it. This will make it an endless loop though. It won't ever stop. Until you terminate the process. Or if you're running it like this, close command prompt. Which I really should do. Okay. Anyways, um if you have any ideas on what you're gonna do and you don't know how to do it just message me and i'll see if i could help um to anyone that's new to java you shouldn't jump straight at this you should go for something a little lower like scanner in command prompt anyways thanks for watching guys and see you later